Hi, this is Jenny Vile. I'm the Child Care Resource and Referral Director at Buncombe Par Partnership for Children. i um, doing TA um, at the partnership for about four years and have been overseeing resource and referral for the last year. Um, I'm sorry I cannot be with you today, but I just wanted to um, introduce this before Anya and Stevie get going. So I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, just the evolution of TA culture in our county. Um, for many years, like a lot of you from beginning of the new QRIS system, moving to the two component license system, we did a lot of support for programs around the environment rating scales. So we would go in, we would do an assessment, they would wait for us to tell them exactly how many blocks they needed, exactly how many pieces of um, fine motor materials, all of these things. They would wait for us to come and just give them a list, even down to sometimes we would, or our predecessors would offer you know, just a catalog circled with things. Um, so a lot of assessment, a lot of do this, and done, and not a lot of capacity building. So uh, right before I was hired, we had a complete change in TA staff, and myself and some former staff members really started looking at how we could shift the culture um, in Buncombe County with the way that we were doing TA because we felt like there really could probably be something better. Um, also that there were some missing voices. This is an example of really just the deficit-based approach that is really common and, and was really common for us as well. And it can be very hard when you walk into a center that, that really needs a lot of changes. So always looking for what isn't working and okay you've got paint but they can't get to them because they're still wrapped in plastic and they're also brand new even though they're on the shelves and there's no brushes so it's clear that the children can't have them. And looking at everything from what they didn't have rather than what they could have in the classroom. The other thing that characterized this time was a lot of TA working together, which is good, right? We want TA providers working together. We want to be working with child care health consultants, but there was a lot of us versus them. So how are we going to fix this for them rather than how are we going to work together and how are we going to support the center making its own changes? Which is very subtle language, um, but when we really started evaluating our practices, we realized that a lot of times the reason that changes were not taking place is that we were not engaging the center um, in their own unique needs and wishes and personalities from the very beginning. We were spending a lot of time wringing our hands in hallways trying to figure out how we were going to fix it um, and not thinking about whose space we were in. So we started looking at, at shifting it and started looking at really getting to know the teachers and what they were doing in their classrooms. Um, and, and this isn't necessarily relationship building and getting into lots of gossip. This is building rapport so that they know that their experiences are valid and if they want to have a dance party in the middle of the day, even though we might think it might stir up the kids and get in the way of a good transition. You know what? Let's try it and see how it works. And really trusting the process and really trusting the teachers as professionals, um, even when they did not quite see themselves as professionals yet, uh, really approaching it in a very in a different way than we had in the past. So one, one exciting thing that happens when we go in and try to and not focus on what needs fixing and what isn't happening is that we start to see so much more pride in what is happening. So these are two family child care home providers that um, were extremely stressed about the environment rating scales inside their home, but both very excited to talk about what was going on outside. So able to build on that and take some of the things that they had already established as strengths for themselves and tie it into our coaching all across their centers. Anya and Stevie are going to talk more about the North Carolina coaching cycle in a while. And, and while we still use it in, in some ways, you know, looking at what happens before an observation and after an observation and the, and the feedback cycle for that, we also um, want to be 
responding to the teachers as individuals. Um, and so we have been using it alongside the PALS model, which is a participatory adult learning strategies, which is on the next slide. We started using PALS about three and a half years ago uh, in Buncombe County. It has really changed the way that we look at coaching relationships with teachers, um, making sure that we are approaching them as, as co-learners and that we're working together to work through whatever it is the teacher has set as their goals. So sometimes this involves you know, illustrating what, what we saw during an observation and helping the teacher pull out the pieces that they would like to start working with. Um, and then it is a, it's just an evolving back and forth where the teacher has some time to work on it and work on the practice that has been agreed upon. Everybody's on the same page and it goes back and forth and sets up a process of reflection. Um, so the teacher is able to reflect on their own practices both with us and alone. And I know that Stevie and Anya are going to talk more about this as your workshop goes on. So thank you so much for joining us today. I'm so sorry I can't be there with you in person. Um, but just wanted to end on this, which is that really one of the important things for us as TA providers is that we spend enough time planning and really being intentional ourselves about how we are entering into uh, coaching relationships with teachers and directors, which involves a lot of professional development for ourselves as well as a lot of team uh, teamwork and really talking as a team about how we're going to start a process both with individual teachers or how it's going in different classrooms and how that all fits into the whole. So really looking at intentionality at every level, both for ourselves and for classrooms and for the system as a whole. So thank you and I hope you have a great institute.